Hi, everybody, and especially hello to all the Twitter people out there. Thanks for your support. Uh, okay, today I'm talking about seven things you shouldn't say if you're human. I hope you're all human here. Uh, debunking jargon for homo sapiens, and it's a tribute to the late, great American comedian George Carlin. Um, George Carlin was a man who loved words. He was a big comedian in the 1970s comedy circuit with people like Richard Pryor. Now, that comedy circuit was pretty risque, but George Carlin marked himself out as somebody who loved words. He loved the precision of words, but he thought, you know, I have to use a lot of bad words because they're very precise about what I want to say. And he said there are 400,000 words in the English language, but there are seven you can't say on this television, a 1970s television. Because what happened was the FCC said, well, Carlin said radio and TV are the only two places in America not protected by the First Amendment, which protects freedom of speech. They basically censored these words only on radio and television. But he loved them and he wanted to use them. So when he went from the comedy circuit to television, he knew that these words were words he couldn't say. Now, I'm not going to say them because my mother always told me a lady never says anything like that, especially if there's a camera pointing at you and it's going to go up on the internet for everybody to see. So I propose that there are seven terms you can't say to humans <laughs> because I believe that these are just as offensive as curses, if not more so. So going forward, triangulate, revert back to you, feedback, quid pro quo, resize, downsize, and give it 100%. So the reason you shouldn't use them is that people like George Orwell, who was a master of precision, believes that jargon dulls our minds. It corrodes our minds because it's weak language. And I agree with him. So I'm going to do a Big Brother style piece here on why does jargon suck eggs. Uh, jargon sucks eggs, like your man here, because it's like Orwell's Newspeak. It lacks precision. It dehumanizes us. It dulls us down. It excludes people. And frankly, it's just stupid. So going forward, here we see Brian Clowen. That's by the wonderful artist Will St. Ledger. Uh, going forward, you know, we are where we are. What does that mean? If you're not, are we always going forward in time? I mean, unless there's a time machine, which way are we going? Maybe we're riding our bicycle backwards, like this guy who set a record while playing a violin. Is that the way we're going in Ireland? I don't know. But I don't want to be going forward. I just want to be. So anyway, the next word which should come up is triangulate. So since I have to meet, miss the meeting this morning, but the two of you are going, why don't we try to triangulate on this later on? Okay, I completely blame the American computer industry for that. That's insane. Triangulate. Why don't you say just talking to people, two other people later on, the three of you are having a chat. Triangulating is when you're on a map and you take three coordinates to find out where you are, like when you were in the Boy Scouts. That's insane. You can't triangulate human beings. You triangulate data on a map. So let me find out and revert back to you. Now, this is my particular favorite because in my mind, I feel like I'm back in science class studying genetics. You are going to revert back to me. Now, I get one or two of these emails a week and they really piss me off. I, this is how I start thinking. Okay, there's a sperm mother cell, the ova mother cell, sperms produced by meiosis, ova produced by meiosis, but only one develops to maturity, this fertilization, okay, and what happens? It's a zygote. So when people say that to me in an email, I say, what, you're a zygote? Why are you my psycho? That makes no sense. Then even customers, we really value your feedback. So please fill out the attached form, feedback. How about comment, ideas, or opinions, right? That's a human word. Feedback is not a human word. Feedback is what happens with the radio when you have it on static. So that's what businesses think of their customers' comments, ideas, and opinion. That's completely insane. That's no way to run your business. It just means you're ignoring your customers. But maybe that's exactly what they want you to do. Ignore them. Now, quid pro quo. I didn't study Latin, but I know that it does mean something for seven, something for something. But I always think that means money for what or who, brown envelopes, that's the first thing I think of. So quid pro quo, should you use that if you're human? No, you shouldn't. You should use language that everybody understands. This one, resizing our headcount or downsizing units of liveware. <laughs> that is shocking. Are we resizing our head? No, you're firing people. You're making your company smaller, that's insane. Give it 110%. This is my favorite and final slide. What happens when you give it 110%? What happens? Well, this is from Monty Python. Do you remember? It's the thin wafer. This guy ate loads and loads and loads, and he's offered a thin wafer. Will you have it, sir? No, I'm fine. No, will you have it? It's like, give it 100%, dude. Do it.
butch up. So what happens? He takes the mint into his mouth and, oh my God, that's what happens. So never ever give it 110% if you're human, okay? And jargon, don't do it. It corrodes your mind. <laughs>